Welcome to the most difficult VHS quiz you will ever get, you will ever take part in. So we're going to have a look at the quiz taken from the Video Business Guide 10 Year Celebration uh, brochure from 1981 to 1991. This was released in 1991. So the first thing we're going to do is go through all the questions one at a time, give you time to write them down. There's some really knowledgeable VHS people around. Can you get 25 out of 25? Can you get five? It's that tricky. Okay, question one. For which gruesome title did Go Video say in 1982, if you want to know what's inside the fridge, get the film? What outstanding free gift did Electric Blue 8 boast? That's question two. Question three, off-screen came up with a mythical and illegal counterpart to fact in 1983 called Pricked. What did the initials stand for? Question four, which veteran palace executive made this remarkable prediction way back in April 1983? Personally, I'd like to see dealers selling more tapes and this means prices have got to come down. No dealer can do more than make ends meet if he sticks exclusively to rental. Question five. In 1983, a video dealer in Golders Green was raided by the police. Copies of which notorious tape were seized by them? What was Spaniard Jose Moner offering to British travelers in return for 40 specified pre-recorded tapes? Was it A, 300 pounds? B, 3,000 pesetas. C, a free three-week holiday. Question seven. Barbara Gold won 25 pounds at the Manchester Software Show in 1983. What flighty behavior was she involved in? Question eight. In June 1983, Sir John Eden was given one by the BVA, but Walter Gabriel in the Arches had to buy one. What did they both become the proud possessors of? Question nine, the newly launched Avatar label advertised a video with a campaign line, every victim plays her part. What was its title? Question 10, Ron Gale shone the first light on a 999 label in 1983. What was it called? Question 11, Warner Home Video brought out a video called Motel Hell in October 1983. Complete the advert copy line. It takes all kinds of critters to make something. Question 12. What happened to the Manchester dealer who, in November 1983, asked his local police to check his shop out for illegal videos? Question 13. Which major MD said in 1984... I'm seen as a self-confident, opinionated, bordering on arrogant and apparently unconcerned about the effects of what I say and what I do. Question 14. What highly publicised non-video item did Lightning become one of only two national distributors for in 1985? Question 15. Barbara Gold won what for sticking a pin in a cardboard crocodile in 1985? The movie, by the way, was Romancing the Stone. The publisher and managing director of which video magazine appeared in Electric Blue 18? Question 17. Who said in the run-up to Christmas 1985 and at the launch of a new label, one thing I can promise is that this will revolutionise video retailing. Which video dealer wrote to Video Business in December 1985 complaining about the high price of Ghostbusters saying, Heron will buy approximately 20% and will get a good discount. We have 10 shops and can command reasonable discounts. But what about the one-off libraries? They are the ones who will be hit. Question 19. The scene is the video business ball. The time is February 1986. Master of Ceremonies, Jeremy Beadle, Custard Pie, Les Smith, Terry Byrne and Steve Bernard. Who did he miss? 
Number 20, Rupert and the Frog Song broke new ground for a video by being reported to a local weights and measures office for two reasons in March 1986. One reason was that the tape included nude animation scenes. What was the other reason? Question 21. In September 1986, Paddy Toomery, then at Woolworth, revealed that the chain had sold a bumper number of copies of She Wore a Yellow Ribbon in just four days. To the nearest hundred, how many did the high street retailer shift? Was it 250, 2050 or 25,000? In the same month, Treasures unveiled the UK's first what? And a month later, DER offered the first six foot what at just £50 a month. Question 24. Once upon a time, there used to be a video managing director called Larry Woolen. What was his small but perfectly formed gift to the video trade press in December 1986? One which, just for a change, left journalists tight lipped. 25. And in March 1987, the aforementioned Larry Woolen had a movie out called Sins. In the absence of Joan Collins, what did he do with a presentation copy of the movie? Question 26. His name was Jacques Uwerks. His company was called Rock Video. He came from Belgium. How did he tie in baked beans to video rentals? It's the end of that ridiculously hard quiz. I think you might have got some of them. Go back and write them all down and I'll go through the answers with you now. Question one, that gruesome title was Macabre. Question two, it was the free gift 3D glasses. Question three, pricked stood for pirates really into copyright theft. That's hilarious. Question four, the name of the executive was Irving Rappaport. I don't think anyone will have got that one. Question five, the title that was seized was the SS Experiment Camp. Question six, the Spanish man who offered travelers something for 40 tapes. It was a free three week holiday. Question seven, Barbara Gold was playing darts. Flighty behavior, darts, get it? Question eight, what did they get at the British Video Awards, the BVA? Well, they got a VCR, of course. Question nine, the tagline, every victim plays her part, is from the film, Pieces. Question 10, Ron Gale's video label, the 9.99 one was called Neon. Did you have any Neon videos? Question 11, Motel Hell tagline, it takes all kinds of critters to make, Farmer Vincent Fritters. Of course, you remember that one. Question 12, what happened to the Manchester dealer who in November 1983 asked the police to check his shop out for illegal videos? Well, they found them, he was busted. Well, that's question 12. Number 13, the MD was Steve Bernard of RCA Columbia. Question 14, it was the Sinclair C5 that Lightning distributed alongside VHSs. That's so 80s, that's amazing. Question 15, Barbara Gold won a large emerald for sticking a pin in a cardboard crocodile. Not bad. Question 16, the answer is video business the publisher and managing director of the video magazine who appeared in Electric Blue. Question 17. The man who said about revolutionising video retailing, his name is Steve Ayres. Does anybody know him? Heard of him? Question 18. The answer is Peter Lee. He went on to found City Vision's Ritz chain. Oh, I've heard of Ritz. Um, he was the guy talking about the price of Ghostbusters. Another impossible one, unless you're this person. Question 19, the person who didn't get pied in the face by Jeremy Beadle was David Rosala. Question 20, 
it was shorter than the publishing running time. That's the reason why Rupert and the Frog Song broke new ground by being reported. I don't know about the nudity thing, but that's a strange one. Question 21. Um, Tire Yellow Ribbon sold 2,500 copies. Question 22. Treasures unveiled a video vending machine, of all things. Question 23. The first six foot watt that cost £50 a month. Get your mind out of the gutters. It was a satellite dish. Question 24. Get your minds back into the gutters. A small but perfectly formed gift and the video trade press that was given by Larry Woolen. It was a chocolate willy. Hilarious. Question 25. It was Joan Collins's waxwork that he used to promote the title Sins. So that was 25. Question 26 was about rock video in Belgium. How did he tie baked beans in with video rentals? He put rock tokens or vouchers on the cans of baked beans. Ingenious. Time to add up your scores. Let me know in the comments what you got. That was pretty crazy. I genuinely don't think anyone other than the people involved in some of those questions would know the answers. Some of them, I think you would. How did you get on? I love you.